I usually do keep track of my business finances. My CFO prepares balance sheet as well as profit and loss. But I do not know how to use them. Well, you are not alone. I hear many business owners say, I prepare my financial statements only for bank and tax purposes. I want to use them to assess the health of my business, but I don't know how. I do do? Hi business owners, this is your business coach Nalin Mehta. Welcome to my Kya Karu series of videos specially recorded for you. First, I am glad you understand the importance of tracking your financials. Sound financial management is the key to success in any business. Two simple financial reports namely profit and loss statement and second balance sheet can give you a very good grip on financial health of your business. I often hear business owners use these two terms either interchangeably or loosely together. I have therefore made three short and simple videos on the subject. One explaining profit and loss statement. Two balance sheet and three highlighting where to use which one and how to use them together. So do see my videos on profit and loss statement as well as balance sheet. In this video, let me first give a snapshot of the difference between PNL and balance sheet. A balance sheet reports companies assets, liabilities, and shareholders equity at a specific point of time. It provides you with a view on as to how effectively you are using your resources. A profit and loss account PNL on the other hand summarizes the revenues, cost, expenses incurred during a specific period. Balance sheets reveal what the company owns and what the company owes. It shows how much a company is worth. The PNL statement answers the specific question how profitable is the business. When analyzed together, the balance sheet and PNL statements can be used to assess the operational efficiency of a business. You must see my videos on PNL statement as well as balance sheet, as I said earlier. Here are some of the technical ratios you can calculate to know the health of your business. There are mainly three types of ratios. First one, liquidity ratios. In liquidity ratios also, there are three important ratios. First one is current ratio, which is current assets divided by current liabilities. This simply tells you if a business has sufficient assets to cover its liabilities. A ratio of 2 shows that you have twice as many current assets as current liabilities and is considered to be good. Second, a quick ratio which is also called asset test ratio. This is current assets excluding stocks divided by current liabilities. A ratio of 1 shows that your liquidity level, liquidity level is high and it's an indication of a solid financial health. The third one in this category is defensive interval. This is liquid assets divided by your daily operating expenses. This measures how long your business could survive without any cash coming in. Well, this should be between 30 to 90 days, though during COVID times, we, we really had, you know, a very, very difficult situation. But yeah, in usual times, 30 to 90 is good enough. The second type of ratios are efficiency ratios. Here again, there are three important ratios. One is debtors turnover. This is average of credit sales divided by the average of level of debtors. This shows 
how long it takes you to collect your payments. The second is creditors turnover. This is average cost of sales divided by the average amount of credit that you get from your suppliers. This shows how long your business takes to pay suppliers. Usually they should really match. The third one is stock turnover. Average cost of sales divided by average value of stock. This ratio indicates how long you hold your stocks before selling or how quickly you rotate your stocks. The third category of ratios are profitability ratios. Here, divide the net profit before tax by the total value of the capital employed. This will show you how good your return on capital used is in your business. You could also use the net profit ratio to evaluate your profitability. Divide the net profit before tax by the total value of the net sales to see how good your net profit is. To summarize, both profit and loss as well as balance sheet you must prepare periodically. As a business owner, you must closely study these. You can monitor your month on month operations also through them. I urge you again to see my videos on balance sheet as well as PL statements. You must understand the basic difference between these two statements and do a year on year health check of your business by doing ratio analysis. If you do this, it will help you a great deal to decide on financial and strategic issues in a very well informed manner. Hope this Kyakunu video will help you understand your finances and make your business financially stronger. Thank you very much.